Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how you can make a graph in PowerPoint today. If you want me to make something for you guys, please leave your comments down below in the comment section and I will get back to you. First of all, I'm going to collect data from British Petroleum. This is an online website where you can get a lot of data for different countries regarding petroleum, which includes uh, anything regarding fossil fuels and renewable energy. So you can collect all the data from anywhere in the world. So this is a tool where you can access the data from. Now it has different options where you can access, which shows the data. And also you want to change the country, you can change the country. If you want to change some specific uh, chart type, you can also change. You can look into this website later on. I'm just going to go quickly through uh, some of the details. So now I'm just going to show you a comparison for the biofuel generation in South Korea and in comparison to other countries. I'm not using a lot of countries so far because I'm just showing you some example and uh, I'm just going to select five or six countries and in that among that South Korea is going to have the lowest number and then I'm going to show you how you can show a lowest number in a bar chart in a different way. So now I'm just selecting different countries so when you could select South Korea you can see a different graph then you add another country then it appears like this then you can change this area chart into a bar chart by just clicking over here the only problem with these charts is that when you download them they don't have high quality so instead you can make your own graph by just exporting the data from this website now i'm adding different countries now you can see south korea has the lowest data the lowest number so now i'm going to export this data into my picture as well and also export this data as a csv file which is an excel file as you can see it is, has been downloaded now i open the file now i'm just going to quickly make some changes and I'm going to uh, select my data first, but before that I'm going to make a small change which is that I'm going to remove the first part uh, before this text, world text. I'm just going to copy it and then what I'm going to do is Control F or you can just simply go to uh, Find Selecting Tool and you can replace this text with a space. Then you can say Replace All and then everything will be gone. Now your data is available. Now what we will do is we will select all this data including the countries and the numbers. Now we are going to select them. And then go to insert and then click on recommended charts or charts when you click on this after recommended charts it will show which chart type will be the best one and which you can use so in this case i'm just going to use a bar chart to show you a better example now after that i'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that you can see here and then i'm going to copy this graph from here and then i'm going to paste this graph in the powerpoint so let's just delete the layout and then paste the graph over here now delete the extra titles and these lines i don't want i want my graph to be plain and then i'm going to add a title for this slide which is importance of biofuels because i'm showing the generation of biofuel which has been increasing from 1990 to up till 2019 or 2020 right now so far the data is for 2019 so let's just say that i'm going to add a small smart art at the bottom of this chart so that i can show the main point which i want to focus that why a biofuel is important so i'm just going to write a few points and then i'm going to skip to the end part where i'm going to adjust the size and also going to change the colors so for the smart art it's good that you can just add text in a more uh, born beautiful way and then you can adjust it at the bottom and also you can change the colors so you can go to the selection pane when you click on this you will have a smart art design now let's work on the other part which is i'm going to change the color so if you click on this smart art you can see a small tab on the top which is smart art smart art design so you can change the color from there also so now i'm going to uh, make them a uh, little bit different and bold i'll increase the size then we are going to work on this part now if you want to edit this small part you need to select that bar first and then you can edit that so for example i'm going to make small changes which is i can also edit data in this one so if you click this edit data this data is linked with excel so it will automatically open in the excel file like this now if I want to I want to delete this part from my chart so I will delete this one and the graph will be automatically updated in the PowerPoint as you can see because it's a link graph. I'm going to move this legend from here. I'm going to drag it and bring it to the top. I don't want my legends to come at the bottom. Instead I want them here in the white empty space and I want to increase its size so that it can look much more clear and visible. Make sure when you are increasing size, all your legends are shown in the legend. If not, then you can increase the length of the box, width of the box, and you can see the, those legends more properly. Now, if you want to increase the size, it's up to you. But if you want to keep the size this much, it's also up to you. So now let's work on the other parts. I'm going to add the axis and axis titles on both the sides. Now you can see you have only one axis because we only have primary axis. We don't have secondary axis. So now just select this bar and then go to chart design. And when you click on this, you can click on change chart type. Now you can see all the uh, all the bars, South Korea and China, Thailand, all those. So 
click on this one and then change the chart type from here now i'm going to ch change choose a line chart and you can also see a preview now i have a separate line on the secondary axis for south korea which shows the increasing trend of importance of biofuels in south korea so now what we can do is this is not too visible right now and also doesn't give an importance or doesn't give a highlight to the specific uh, part which i want to highlight so instead what i will do is i will first increase the size of my years first if you keep on increasing size it will go in diagonal so you can change it like this by reducing the size of the upper part and the y axis axis will automatically adjust itself now i'm going to change the color and see if it looks good but doesn't look much good i'm going to change it back to black now let's add the titles for the primary y axis and the secondary y axis so i'm going to add biofuel production in the world and in the brackets i'm going to write its unit similarly i'm going to write the biofuel production in south korea in the secondary y axis and similarly i'm going to write the y axis in the units in the bracket now what you have to do is that you have to increase the size of the x, uh, the y axis in the primary side and the secondary size so just click on this one and once you click on them then you can increase the size by going in the home menu so but before that let's let's work on this line so when you click on this there are two parts one is line and one is marker so now i'm increasing the length of the width of the line now click on the marker go to marker options then i'm going to change the built in i'm going to change the size and i'm going to increase its length now if i want a fill i can click on the fill and i have a solid color also if i want an outline for my block then i can also do that that's more easy now look carefully if i click on access uh, legends then everything will have but i have need to click twice on this part then i will have only legend on the specific line so now i'm going to make them more visible and better so when you click on the chart legend legend and you can see this option go to the fill options you can change now if you want to have a background for your fill you can also do that but before that i'm going to make them small so go into number and make the general number type to a number and then you can reduce the decimal places to two or zero depending upon your numbers now i can add a fill to the background and i also change the background color which is green now you can also decrease the opacity of the shape behind it also you can increase the size of the legends increasing the size only makes it more visible but if you don't want to fill in the background of the text or the legends you can remove it and keep it no fill now i'm just working on this part you can also change the shape of the legend if you want by just clicking on that and go to change shape on the right axis now let's increase the size of the axis and by increasing that i'm going to make it bold and don't worry if the space is not enough you can reduce the size of the chart from either side from the left and right side and then you can adjust the axis on both axis i'm going to move my legend on the right side and then most of the parts are done i'm just going to increase its size make them bold and then just drag the secondary or primary y axis on the either side to make them to make sure they look visible and bright i'm going to change the color of the y axis to make sure to make it similar with my line also tried giving a green color but it wasn't looking much better so i changed the color black to original because i want to focus more in south korea rather than focusing on any other part if you want you can add a shape fill to the box of the legend and then you can, if you want to have a solid color you can also have if you don't want any color you can also change that depending upon what are the colors in your slide to make it uh, to match them because i just wanted to make uh, sure that all the colors are adjusted and well balanced so this is one way you can make a graph attractive in powerpoint but the only disadvantage of downloading the picture or the graph from that website is that that wasn't too attractive and when you download that image it looks too blur when you go when you zoom in a little bit and we don't want these kind of graphs to show in my presentation because if they have low quality they will also not look good in our main slide so i hope you guys learned something from this video if you haven't watched my previous video do watch them and if you want me to make something new or something different that you want to learn please leave your comments down below in this comment section i will get back to you till then take care allah hafiz